Look at that team up top. Just look at that. This isn't even fair. What's going on, gamers? What's going on, nation? It's the drop shot prodigy himself, Mr. Desparky. And I got a treat for you guys today facing Pace. Pace. Facing Phase Pomage and a couple of his friends. One from Soar, the other one again from Envy. Just like when I was facing Zerger, is somebody from the Envy sniping team is on the other team. And it's weird because right when I came out with that video about Zer Grizz, I've been facing more and more YouTubers. Not that I remember exactly who it is, but um, a little background on this video. I did lead the lobby. I wasn't quick scoping the whole time. I did, for some reason, go to their play style and quick scope for a little bit, which I normally don't do. So that's just the background for this gameplay. I hope you guys do enjoy it in the background. But what I'm going to talk about in this video is when people send me links over Skype and they demand that I like and comment them I'm only going to like a video that's sent to me if I actually like it and if I give you criticism about it it's not that I'm saying you're terrible it's I'm trying to help you with your content not that I'm the best at YouTube not that I bring out the best content not that I'm the most entertaining person but I'm not trying to call anybody out but there's videos out there that people send to me that just aren't entertaining and I'm not gonna like a video or share a video that I don't like just like I don't put out content myself that I don't enjoy to watch myself like for me I don't expect to or I don't demand people to like my videos I give them the chance I give them the opportunity you know I tell them at the end of the videos if they like my video please hit the like button it does help me out and it does help me out but I'm not going to demand that people like my videos or anything. I want them to like it for actually liking it. And that's what I do with videos when I watch them. So when I don't like your video, it's not that I'm calling you terrible. It's me just not liking the video, not liking the parody that you send to me, not liking it. something about it. And I'll tell you what I don't like about it in the comments, or I'll tell you on Skype if you don't want it in the comments. It doesn't bother me. I'm going to be open, I'm going to be honest, because if you ask for my opinion, I'm going to give you my opinion. And if you don't want the answer, I guess just don't ask for it, you know what I mean? Now, I'm not trying to sound like a dick or anything. I try to help people out. You know, I started the shout-out series, which means that I'm not doing this for myself. I like seeing other people succeed. I don't know what just happened there. But I like seeing other people succeed. So if you ask for my help, I'm going to give you my help. And if you ask for my input, I'm going to give you my input. And it's not necessarily always going to be what you want to hear. If you want me to constantly praise a video, I'm not going to constantly praise it if I don't like it. I'm going to tell you what I don't like about it. And I personally want you to leave your opinion about that below, whether you think I'm a dick for doing that, whether you think I'm right for doing that, please let me know in the comments below, because I think I'm doing the right thing, you know? I'm not giving people false hope, and I'm not going to tell somebody that their video is amazing just to make them feel better, because then they're going to settle for that, you know? They're not going to try to improve because they think their videos are good. I'm going to tell them what they need to fix, so hopefully they do it so that their videos do get good. You know, and I want people to do that for me too. I would expect somebody to do that for me. I would expect somebody to tell me the truth, not just tell me what I want to hear necessarily. For instance, I've had plenty of videos that I thought were really good that I asked somebody for their opinion and they said were terrible. And I fully expect that, you know. I expect that if I ask somebody for their opinion that they're truthful to me because that makes me know that just because I think my content is good enough doesn't mean that it actually is. And it gives me motivation and it gives me a way to improve. It lets me know what I need to improve in because when I ask for their opinions, they always tell me. Which is what I try to do. I try to help people out. When they ask for my opinion, I try to give that to them. Just like how I would want it, which is how I do get it when I ask for people's opinion. And I mean, honestly, let me know. I said this before, but let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong to do that. If I should always say that I like somebody's content even when I don't. Because that doesn't help them. It doesn't help anybody. I want to know what you guys would do in that situation, you know, do you guys always just like a video even if you don't like it? Do you not give people constructive criticism like what I do? I want to know what you guys do in that situation. Please let me know down below, you know? It's the only way to help people out is if you tell them the truth. You don't let them settle with what they think is good if it's not good. If it is good, you tell them, you know, you say, good job. I always tell people that they do a good job, it's just that they need to work on something. If you don't sound like you're having fun. I'm going to tell you, you don't sound like you're having fun. If you don't sound motivated, I'm going to tell you, you know? That's how constructive criticism works, you know? It's not everybody always telling you necessarily everything that you do right. It also includes telling them what they did wrong. And that's how they know not to do that anymore. That's how they know how to fix what they're doing. It's a big part of everything. Not just YouTube, but with everything. Whether you're at a job, you know? They're going to tell you what you do wrong, and they're going to tell you you need to fix it. And that said, job, if you don't fix it, you're going to get fired. Not that you're going to get fired from YouTube for not listening to me, and you can't get fired from YouTube anyway. 
but it's it all comes in with life you just have to listen to the criticism and take it and if you want to do what they say do it and if you don't don't do it but don't keep asking for people's opinions and that's really all I got about that in this video I really want your opinions though I want you to tell me if I'm in the wrong for doing that or if you guys do that too I want to talk to you guys about this gameplay because I had a lot of fun a lot of fun playing these guys they weren't like Zergriz who I actually sent Pamaz a message after saying good game and he sent one back to me which was really cool you know they were they were personable kind of I mean they were, they were in a party but when they responded to the message which was awesome they didn't rage quit during the game because they weren't getting the feeds they were doing at the end I was trying to troll them by thinking that making them think that I was setting up for a quick uh, trick shot for them because that's what they were doing for the final kill but it didn't work out I was gonna shoot them but I got shot by the uh, third team since this was multi-team um, my teammates were really struggling against them for some reason I was doing pretty good this wasn't my best game by any means I had a lot of misses I had a lot of blind moments but I don't know why they were struggling so bad we easily could have won this if I had a team that was that was playing good now you can see of course that my team only has 32 kills but I have 24 of them you know so I'm keeping up with them very easily my team in total besides me only has 10 kills which isn't very good <laughs> You know, this is a stupid moment right there. I didn't know who to shoot. There was so much going on right there. But I had a, I had a lot of those moments, you know what I mean? But if I had a team that could keep up with them, we easily would have won this. I have almost 80% of our kills, and we're it's just struggling. Sorry if you hear screaming in the background. My girlfriend is screaming at the dog. Getting up close and personal right there with Facebook Mod. <laughs> killing him and then killing, killing him at his tag again. He was probably pissed off about that. But, I mean, again, he did say good game. He didn't rage at me or anything for going try hard with the M8 for most of the game. That's the gun I'm trying to get used to for the competitive. That's the gun I'm using now. I switched the AR from SMG and that's the gun I'm sticking with that in the AN94. So I'm, I'm practicing a lot with that in the pub matches. Since league play is on break right now in between seasons, I'm just doing it in pub matches. Or not pub matches, but like, um, well yeah, I guess they are. League plays pub matches too, but in just regular lobbies of multi-team or domination. I'm just really trying to get used to it, getting my game plays better, getting my accuracy better and just having better reaction time, better map knowledge with the ARs and everything. I've been anchoring a lot for hardpoint so that I know how to anchor and everything. There I tried to quickscope him for some reason, which I failed, but that's okay. I don't mind getting out quickscoped by these guys. Normal people, if they quickscope me, I get pissed off, but when I'm facing a sniping team like this, like FaZe, one of the leaders of FaZe, I'm expecting to get sniped a lot. I mean, it was frustrating at times because there was times where I just couldn't do anything. I just had snipers shooting at me from all different directions. But I hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay that was in the background for this. I hope you guys do leave a comment down below saying your opinion on how I treat the videos that are sent to me, how I leave feedback to people, constructive criticism to people, and if you do the same thing, please let me know. But this video is wrapping up. I would really appreciate a like rating for this. If you like the content, I'm not going to demand for you to like it, but if you did like it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any feedback for me whatsoever, please leave it in the comment section below of what I need to fix. Here's where I'm trolling the people right here. Of course, there's going to be somebody commenting about the dog barking and my girlfriend yelling. But if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It does help me grow. It does help me out a lot. And I really do appreciate everybody that does subscribe to me and watches my content. But that's all I got for right now. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, I have a couple gameplays lined up already. I just need to do commentaries over. So they'll be out soon. And I hope you guys enjoy them as well. I'm out. Execution RTB for debrief.